Welcome to this uh, relatively short video about Venn diagrams. In my next videos, um, I will show you the types of questions uh, you will have to answer and the important language uh, which you will encounter. But um, this video I want to use just to show you what Venn diagrams are, uh, because many students are quite intimidated by Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram is just a way to organize information, that's all. Uh, so let's say you are, um, let's say um, you have a hotel, okay? And um, you know, if you look at the guests, that 14 people like eggs. Yeah, let me just write it down. 14 people like eggs. Uh, 10 people like bacon, okay? And five people like bacon and eggs, okay? So these people only like eggs, 10 people only like bacon, and five people like bacon and eggs. And you can represent that then in a Venn diagram, yeah? because that's a Venn diagram. And then I have a big rectangle, which we call the universal set, and we have this special looking sign for it, but you can forget about that. And then we have two of these, all right? And um, let's call these the eggs, and that circle the bacon. How many people only like eggs? 14, so I have 14 people there. How many people only like bacon? 10. And both eggs and bacon is five, so that's that part in the middle which those two circles share. Now this is the Venn diagram finished. Now you could say, how many people in total like eggs? Yeah, 19. How many people in total like bacon? 15. How many people only like bacon? 10, huh? Anyway, so it's just a way to represent information so you can have a quick look yeah, at your Venn diagram and then say something about the people liking eggs or bacon or eggs and bacon. All right, now go to the next video where I will introduce language yeah, or you check my sites www.explainingmaths.com or find me on Facebook and ask me your questions. Yeah, You'll find there also more free resources. Okay, I'll see you later.